Hey gang, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the Stud Pack Custom House Build. On the last video, you saw us build our floor system for the second floor. It's looking great, but it's feeling even better. And we're super excited today because today is the last day where we have to balance ourselves walking up there because we get to put in our awesome one and an eighth inch thick Advantech subfloor. So we started out this morning by putting up our drywall blocking. We need spots on the edge where the drywallers can screw their sheets to. So you see we just put some two by fours on the flat on top of our top plates here. Also on the other side of the garage, we also did the same thing on both landings. Just a two by four on the flat so the drywallers can put a screw right there and right there. If you leave it out, they're gonna be mad at you and they're gonna leave the job site. So we're super excited to put down our subfloor, but before we do that, there's one step we gotta do first. All right guys, so we're up here on the roof and we're gonna do a little bit of planing, a little bit of uh, joist prep before we put our subfloor down. So Rad's got the level and he's got the red marker. We're just going around and we're just marking where it's high. So you can see that these three are kind of bouncing. We can live with that. But as Rad moves it farther back, it gets worse and worse. Super, super seesaw E. So we're just trying to remove that. So since we know that that middle joist is a little bit high, some would argue that putting the subfloor down is gonna flatten everything, but we're just gonna give it a Start little help. It right yeah. And so then dad's gonna follow us with the planer and he's gonna know to remove that red line. And Rad's just gonna go all the way back until it stops seesawing, and that might be all the way to the beam. We don't know. Nice. All right, that wasn't too bad. How many we got, Rad? Only four. Four? Yeah. Well, we did a pretty good job then. Yeah, your dad's stoked. <laughs> All right, guys, how am I gonna remove the top of those joists? It's easy, you've seen us use this before. Nice Bosch planer, can be any planer. Kind of more for finish work, but it works great on the top of these studs. I'm gonna put on my hearing protection and I'm gonna plane them down. Then I can come down here and slide across and know when I've reached my depth. This is actually finish work for framers, so. Yeah, this little step goes a long way. Because yeah. now you'll be, you'll be fighting it, right? And now it's just gonna be great. more guys three three more not bad. Well, not bad. you'll probably find something along the way that you want to hit so let's call it five no i'm <laughs> gonna i'm only gonna do what y'all mark no more no less <laughs> i just said no more no less and now we're doing one right away <laughs> an extra one <laughs> i saw it when i was coming down <laughs> well you just had to look i just had to look All right, gang, I'm sighting across these, and I am loving that. That was well worth 20 minutes. It's gonna save us an hour later when we frame this thing. So let me come down off of this ladder, and what do you say we put some sheathing up, man? Yeah. Yeah. All right, gang, we're gonna put this piece of Advantech sub flooring up here. It is an inch and an eighth thick, and man, I don't know, that's, that's well over 100 pounds. Uh, yeah, definitely. I'm saying probably 140. Mm -hmm. I wonder if that information's online. Maybe I don't want to know, but here's our plan. Can you call Doug? No, all right, we're gonna lift it. So Jordan and I are gonna come over here. We're gonna stand it on in on these blocks so we can get our hand under it. Boom, press it up to rad right there. Once we're here, the Whoa. middle point of the sheet is gonna pivot on the rim joist and he ought to just be able to lay it over. We're gonna try it once. Can we do it 24 times? We're gonna see, but let's see how this one goes. Y'all ready? Yeah. All right, I'm not. All right, you ready? Yep. Three positions. Any a little higher. I'm coming. All right. You got it? Yeah. Pull it. I told you guys you got that. We're strong, man. We got it. Good job, Brad. Yeah. All right, guys, we muscled that sheet of one and an eighth inch thick Advantech way up 11 feet in the air onto our second floor. We looked it up. Each sheet weighs 125 pounds. We have 24 sheets going up there. Do the math. A ton and a half, 3,000 pounds that we're going to muscle up there. But we got it figured out. Now we know we can do it. But we have another problem we're facing today. If you come over here, we've got this huge branch from our neighbor's tree hanging over our second floor. 
it's basically poking right into your bathroom, huh, Jordan? Yeah. And then we got this big shrub over here. I don't know what it is. Maybe it looks like an old crepe murder or something. But we checked with the neighbors. They said, no problem. We can cut it all down. So that's our first step today to get that stuff out of our way. Uh, yeah, you got that one. Yeah. No, I think you got it. All right, guys, that only took a few minutes and it looks so much better. And I think, Jordan, your property value just went up a little bit more. And I even think Buster approves. Oh, check that out, gang. The Stud Pack team wants to give a massive shout out and a huge thanks to the team at Huber for providing the materials for the Stud Pack garage. And if we do a good enough job, they may even supply the materials for the Stud Pack dream house. So get down below in the comments, give us a big W Huber and smash that like button so they know that you like the video. Let me show you what they sent us. They sent us their starter kit of the subfloor adhesives. Comes with six cans of the adhesive. It's a polyurethane foam. One can's equivalent to eight tubes. Also, this great cleaner so you can clean the awesome applicator that it comes with. And this thing is heavy, it's high quality. We've been watching our favorite YouTubers use these products for years. And I know I speak for Jordan and Rad when I say we can't wait to install this subfloor. Enough talking by Paul, let's get to work. One, two, three. Watch your step. Good job, bud. All right, gang, no lie, this is tough. We got our first row up, but it is 108 degrees out and it is roasting up there. Not only are we hot, our tools are hot. We can hardly pick them up. We thought about rigging up some kind of little shade for our tools and shade for ourselves, but there's hardly any room up there for that. And there's hardly any room to film up there, which is why we didn't video that course. Now that we have one row up there, and as you can see, we're all standing in the strip of shade provided by the advanced check sheathing. That's where we stay. So it is only gonna get bigger as we continue sheathing the floor. But now we can head up there, set up a tripod and show you what we're doing. But come on over here with me to this pile of Advantech and let me show you a couple of cool features about the product. They already mark it for you for all your screw or nail locations. We're screwing it down. Minimum embedment is one inch into your framing number. So they wanna screw every six inches along this edge and then every foot in the field. So the circles indicate 16 inch spacing, diamonds indicate 19.2 inch spacing, and of course the squares represent 24 inch spacing. So on 16 inch centers, 33 fasteners per panel. Here's how the long edges go together. They've recently re-engineered this and check it out, it's pretty cool. So as you can see, they butt together right there on the top of that V. And that V's there to allow for expansion right here. And as you can see, there's an expansion joint in the tongue and one up here at the top of the panel. So as long as you make that tight, you're good to go fasten the panels down. Very cool. Now you don't need glue in the tongue and groove. Just let it ride. It's going to be solid as a rock. Now there's a special coating on this OSB. It's water resistant. 500 days before you have to put a roof on that. That's crazy. What's that, like a year and a half? And they recommend you don't put a water sealer on here. You really don't need it. I've seen a lot of guys try to paint it. Can't put a latex paint on there, but if you do want to paint it, you can put an oil-based paint or an epoxy on there. And this is for interior use only. Don't put it on a porch, on a deck. Don't try to put it on your boat dock. Don't put it on your trailer. It's gonna get torn up because it's outside. And speaking of outside, why don't we head back up into the sun and show you how we're installing this awesome Advantech subfloor. All right guys, we're starting on our second course. We're using the first course as our filming platform. Got our polyurethane glue, loaded up in our nozzle just like that. Just a little adjustment right here. We've got it dialed in so it puts down the perfect bead. So just about a half inch wide bead of foam and then it's gonna kind of gel down. You'll see it over there. You get to be about three eighths of an inch wide. Just do one or two sheets at a time. Put all your fasteners in and move on to the next one. And right here, I favored the right hand edge because we have a seam here. So that'll catch the edge of that sheet. We'll put another bead here to catch the edge of our next full sheet. Good thinking. Yep, all right, Rad, you wanna lower that to me, boy? Are you ready for that? So 
we put a block on the end to protect the groove so we don't beat it up with the sledgehammer. And we're just gonna tap it in until we're seated on this side. All right, go ahead, bud. Nice, beautiful. One more? Uh, one more on that side. You're home. And Money. it's that easy. All right, I'll go that way a little bit. Yep. So we're using a number 10 screw minimum on this, but the screw size would be a number nine screw. And this is all we could find is a three incher, minimum one inch embedment. We're way past that, but we feel good about it. Now this is the drop from the last piece. We wanna maximize the use of our sheets. So you'll see this row of circles doesn't line up with our joist. The next ones will. We're just got to know that we gotta to go to the, to the left of those a little bit to get this small piece down, no problem. All right, let's screw this one down. We're ready for a full sheet. All right, that's our system up top. I'm gonna to head downstairs and pass them another full sheet. But this is something where we need two guys on the ground, two guys up top, so we got more manpower. Say hi to Josh. What's up, gang? All right. We almost, need a, we almost need a fifth guy filming too, because I'm not gonna lie, this is hard, man, man. We need a whole crew. Yeah. Yeah, we need a water boy, everything. <laughs> that's funny. Hey, bud, how's it going? I'm super stoked on this subfloor, I will say that. I love standing up here. It's the best subfloor I've ever stood on, the best subfloor we've ever installed, and it's gotta be the strongest subfloor in the entire city. I, I truly awesome believe that. It looks awesome underneath, so tight, I can't wait to get up there myself. I mean, I just, I love this system. The pre-mark for the screws, I mean, it's so fast, but this impact drill is the worst thing ever for this. <laughs> this motor is so hot. It's hot from being in the sun because there's no shade up here, but it's also just hot from running 24-7 because yeah. each board is like 30 plus screws. Yeah. You know, it's not a GRK screw, so it doesn't start with just a, you know, featherweight. You got to really drive these and you got to get your hand on here mm -hmm. and you got to press, but I can't grab that for too long. Mm -hmm. I got burns on my hand and so does Red. Mm -hmm. So that's a little brutal. Well, well, uh, <laughs> well I love the sub flooring system, but man, it's just going so slow because of this drill. All right. You know what I'm going to say? There is an easier way. What? You've seen it. Yeah. yeah it's a quick drive. A quick He's talking drive. about a quick drive. Yep, yep. They're bucks. They're like hundreds of dollars, but you're paying for the speed and the convenience, right? Yeah. And I didn't really know if that price tag was justified because right. we looked them up and they're like, you know, three to four to five hundred dollars. Right. Corded so, and non-corded. Right. Yeah. I really wanted to get up here and see how bad it was going to be. And I'm here to report that it's horrible. <laughs> it's really bad. The subfloor is amazing, but doing it with just an impact is, is really not. So I think buy one's cry one's gonna get a quick drive and we'll use it on the house we sure will head to the store head to the spend store some, spend some money cha-ching is this the only one they have are you hurting there bud from one of those screws yesterday yeah as i'm bending down i'm yeah i'm sore right now just from doing all those screws so maybe yeesh <laughs> let's make one more stop over here in the tool section It would help, right? I think so. Yeah. All right, guys, we are back from Lowe's, and right here on our sawhorses, we have our Simpson Quick Drive Auto Feed Screw System that's going to make our life a lot easier installing all this subfloor, we hope. So it has a DeWalt drill actually in the kit. It comes with a charger, obviously, and two 20 volt, 5 amp hour batteries. And we also picked up a thousand screws. These are subfloor screws, says right there in the box, number nines by three inch. They also have all the different color of decking screws you can use if you're installing an outdoor deck. Well, let's crack this thing open, see what it looks like. Ooh, oh, bag. a little bag, nice. Fill out the warranty card for sure. And this is sweet. I haven't had a new cordless tool in a long time. Look at that guy. Ooh. Uh, Ooh. That thing's Let's, probably illegal in California. Probably. All right, let's, I think we ought to read the instructions, put this thing together properly, and give it a shot upstairs. All right, gang, we're up on the second story deck. We got our adhesive down and our first sheet of Infantech in place. And uh, hey, Jordan, since you bought this, I think you ought to get first honors, dude. What do you think? I think so. Cool, man. I'm so excited to try this thing. Oh, let's, let's see what it does. Here we go, bud. All I got to do is put it on the circle, pull the trigger. Should be good. Yep. Oh, my gosh. What? Is oh! A, is there a screw there? Yeah. Look at, yeah, look at that. Good depth right there and everything. Perfect. Wow. Do another one. Yeah, I'm doing another one right now. Here we go. All right. I'm going to say that that is well worth 
every dollar that, I'm addicted. that you spent. I'm addicted. With these on the edge ones, we kind of like to go in at an angle. So let's see how easy it is to go at an angle. Maybe yeah, go try it that out. way. Oh my goodness. No problem. Wow. All right, I'm gonna... Yeah, I couldn't imagine doing this without this. This is... We can actually finish this. I was thinking that we weren't even gonna be able to finish this until Saturday. But now it's looking like we can do this whole subfloor today. Probably yeah. just said four hours. Yeah, so the directions treat this almost like a drywall gun, right? Correct. You just leave it running the whole time. It's even got a trigger lock and you just go whoop, whoop, whoop. Here we go. Yeah. Holy crap. Yeah, that was one row in like, what, 10 seconds? You'd still be on the first screw. Uh-huh. And uh, we counted the uh, screws in each clip. There's 30, so almost one clip per panel, because remember, it takes 33 screws to put every screw in that thing. I love this thing. Wow. You're in love? I'm right. in love. All right, get back down there, buddy. Yeah, let's keep working. Let's Man, get to work. You got your brother here again today. Yeah. We're going to pass you sheets, and uh, we're going to try to keep up with you guys. Let's get these sheets. Let's get it, Josh. Yeah. Okay. Dirty knees. Get under it. And yeah, I'm fine. I got it. I just gotta get under it. I gotta get under it. Good. Yeah. Alright, cool. One more. Yep. Cool. Get back in, you little spacer watch out down there you might catch some poly oh yep push it towards me bud just a little bit all right no. yep yep one more Perfect. All right. Where's that next sheet? What? You ready already? Yeah, what's going on down there? Man, hang on. You guys are quick. I'll get it for you in just a second. <laughs> uh, George and Paul. Same way I was in uh, baseball. Uh, wanted to catch with you and visit on yeah. start uh, framing upstairs for energy coach stuff. You probably aware of all this, but it's easier to just we, 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 yeah, we kept, uh, yeah, we, we built the shade for you. Hope, 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 hope to make you nice and happy. Oh, no, no, this is nice. <laughs> on, on headers, uh, what most of the guys do is sandwich a piece of foam board instead of a, yep, okay, you, you're the game there. Right. <laughs> and then what, what about fire blocking in the walls for the 10-foot wall? Uh, you can go up to a 10-foot. If, if it exceeds the 10-foot, then you need to fire block. Okay. So, yeah, so some fine. people will do it just to keep the wall flying, but in my experience, if you get solid seating on the outside, yeah. that, you don't need it. Okay. Well, I'm holding y'all back. So keep no, back. yeah, awesome. Right. Thanks for stopping by, Rick. See you next trip. Yes, sir. If you have a question, just call me, because I'd rather answer a question than have to come out and go, uh, no, that won't work. Okay. All right, guys. Yes, All sir. Right. Thank you. See you on the next one. Yes, sir. All right, guys, we got a surprise visit from our building inspector just a little while ago, and it was great. He's a super friendly guy, and he saw that we were about to frame our second story, so he wanted to come by and give us a few tips so that he didn't have to correct us and make us tear out stuff later. The first one was, and we actually talked about this in a previous video, leave these outside corners open so you can insulate them, so we're good there. The second thing he mentioned was, if you're building up a header, make sure you insulate the middle with foam. We don't have any of those, but I have a rim joist that I have to insulate. So I pointed to my foam right there. Good to go on that. And he let us in on a little secret. He actually passes by our job site every morning because he's taking a shortcut to bypass a big light on the highway just over there. And if he's passing by every morning and he just stopped today after we've done all this work, we must be doing a pretty good job. Yeah. And he said, we're doing a great job. And in fact, he said, we'll see you at framing inspection, but that's not gonna get done until we get this subfloor down. Let's hop up there and finish that subfloor.
All right, guys, we're about 90% complete with our sub four for the second story. And I got to tell you how much I love this Advantech. And this is coming from a guy who's worked with three quarter inch plywood sub floors all his life. The difference between a plywood subfloor and this inch and an eighth Advantech and even the thinner stuff is night and day. Walking on that second floor is just like walking on this concrete slab on the first floor. It is rock solid. And every day we get up there, it is better and better and better. Now we're only 90% complete because of two reasons. The first one is we kind of have an inconvenient width of our garage. It is 24 feet two inches. Now these sheets come eight feet long. So if I would have laid three of them up there, eight, 16, 24, now I have a two inch strip on the end. So you probably saw in some of the footage we did with the drone and on the time lapses that we actually cut a starter course, just like when we're laying a tile floor or you're doing a wood floor. You don't want to end up with a sliver. So you cut a starter course. So you have a nice big piece at the end. Now that may seem like a waste of material, but check it out. It is actually not that much. We just have a little pile over here a bunch of these that are like 11 inches wide and one, two, three of those that are about 30 inches wide. But that is not going to go to waste. It is perfect material for all of our stair treads right over here. And I'm already thinking of a ton of projects I can use this on. And what's that second reason? Well, if you do a takeoff on the plans and calculate the square footage, it seems like 26 sheets will get you there. But we needed the two more because of the tongue and groove system. Up there in our last row, we have the groove showing. So we need the tongue on the next row to engage that groove. And it's 27 inches from that groove to our outside rim joist. So we have to rip this guy to almost 27 inches. So I went to BFS this morning and picked up two more sheets. So now we have four, plenty enough to finish. So let's whip out the track saw, rip these to width and install our last four pieces and finish that upstairs sub floor. Job, guys so I brought a little celebratory watermelon in our little easy up shade there you go ice cold the best what yep oh is that what you snuck in my fridge this morning yep <laughs> you only get one dude oh. <laughs> dang dang guys are you allergic to uh, watermelon what happened dude oh can you see that poison ivy again I got it all over my front my back in my eye right here Yikes. I have to lie, Paul. We know you're in stock, yeah. <laughs> That's why I've been wearing dark glasses all day. And with that, gang, the second floor subfloor is all down. Another massive shout out to the team at Huber for the awesome Advantech subflooring. Absolutely love it. Our next step is to build the stairs right here to the second floor so we can start building the walls on the second floor. No more ladders, right? It's going to help us get all those materials up there. But before we can build the stairs, there's one important step I got to do first with the help of Jordan and Rad to pull that off without a hitch. Let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, guys, we've got this first floor two by six wall and it's got to go straight up because this is our stairwell. So we'll have a two by six wall right up here on this piece of sheathing, just like that. Imagine that's our sill plate for the second floor wall. I can't put it there. I have to put it on a strip of sheathing. So my sill plate is continuous all along here, but I need to support this edge of the sheathing. So that's what this two by 12 is. We're gonna put another one, the full length from that header all the way to the header behind Jordan. But now we got this gap here. Can't insulate that later. So we're gonna insulate it today before we put this piece on. Just trying to think ahead as framers, acting like we're insulators. So we've already got our two by 12 rip and cut. We've got all our foam cut. Let's head downstairs, get our tools and install all this material. of everything worked out perfectly. This should just slide right in. Nice.
All right, that didn't take any time at all. And now we have all this prepared for our wall, plus it's insulated, but nobody will ever know unless they watch this video. Now, a bunch of you who are really sharp-eyed out there are gonna notice and wonder, why do we leave this sheathing here and that piece of sheathing overhanging our framing? Well, two reasons. On this side, we left it long uh, because this is the top of the stairs and our stringers are gonna end up about right here where my hand is. I don't really have any wood here. So we're probably gonna put something like this to hang the stringers off of. Then whatever that something is, we can cut it off right here, have a nice flush cut and not have a small piece of wood we gotta replace there. And on the other side, we talked about it earlier. We're gonna have a closet upstairs. We wanna maximize the depth of that closet, but we also wanna meet code on our stairs. So once the stairs are built, we'll trim that back so we have plenty of headroom to move refrigerators and beds up here, but also to meet code. All right, guys, that is a wrap on the subfloor and a wrap on this video. Can't tell you how awesome it is to stand up here in the future apartment over the garage. Bathroom over there, Jordan and Ratter over in the kitchen, and I'm in the main area. This thing's gonna be epic. And once again, a huge shout out to the team at Huber for providing the Advantech subfloor and the awesome adhesive. So get yourself some polyurethane subfloor adhesive, put it under your like button, smash it so it never squeaks. Don't forget to check us out on Instagram, at StudPackOfficial. Please subscribe, drop a comment, ask a question, and we'll see you on our very next StudPack video.